is breaking news. This is a two alarm building collapse fire that happened. Prospect and Independence Avenue. Two firefighters, two Kansas City firefighters, have died tonight. Two others were injured in this blaze. Let's get up to Johnny Rollins now in News Chopper 9. And Johnny, I know you haven't been over the scene all that long, but you know, this is really for the benefit of telling this story as good an illustration as there is of just how big a firefight this was and continues to be. Well, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Uh, we still have a ton of fire equipment on the scene here. A lot of this being covered by the smoke. Still some flames showing as they have several streams of water still on this. And you can see uh, the uh, we're looking to the north and west now. So looking at the southeast corner of this building, and you can visibly see where it has collapsed here. Still some dark smoke coming from this as well. So still something in there fueling this fire. But uh, yes, uh, hot spots there, still uh, a, a lot of smoke coming from here. And take a look at the presence of uh, firefighters there. Uh, just an enormous amount of fire equipment on the scene up and down Independence Avenue, which uh, to the left uh, would be as we look to the west. So uh, kind of to the upper left and the lower right would be that east and westbound Independence Avenue run uh, right here at Prospect. But uh, certainly still, a firefight going on here and uh, a lot of smoke with it as well. Back down to you guys. Johnny, I have a real quick question as, as we continue to stay with your pictures and, and you're up over the scene there in, in Northeast. It, it, can you tell how much of a danger there might have been or continues to be of this fire spreading to any adjacent buildings, either behind, on the sides? Um, what can you tell from, from altitude there? Well, from our vantage point now to the south and east, we're really in the direction where the smoke is uh, drifting. So it's covering up to the right there would be to the east of these buildings. Uh, so we can't really tell you what's to the north of it, which would be that one aerial stream you see on that one hot spot. But it looks like a fire truck is uh, poised just to the north of that, which would lead you to believe, of course, there's no building there. Same to the west as we take a little bit of a look uh, there. Uh, so it looks like right now this is pretty isolated as far as uh, spreading. Now we can't see down under that smoke, of course, but uh, right now firefighters still just uh, working on this, uh, playing a lot of water on it, and uh, pretty stubborn at this point as well. Chris, back down to you. And Johnny, we do know that uh, they are in defensive mode still at this point with this fire. We know that there were three levels of apartments above ground level stores. Uh, and, and it looks from your vantage point, Johnny, that the fire, and uh, Eli had reported this, had started in the middle of this building, causing walls to collapse. And it still looks like that's the center of, of the problem. Yeah, we're going uh, gonna to reposition here a little bit to the uh, west side and see if we can get a little bit better perspective of uh, where the smoke is not drifting. Of course, a pretty strong wind we've had all day long from the north and west, and that certainly didn't help firefighters here. And that's where you see that smoke now drifting from left to right would be from uh, west to east. So as we come around, you can see, yes, it does. Well, look at the, look at the damage there, where uh, obviously there's been a collapse of the building there. You can see the payday loan sign there as well. Firefighters still getting a lot of water on this, and yes, it is. It appears to be the center of the building now where they're still working on these hot spots. Still plenty of fire showing down here, but otherwise not much left of this building right now. Back to you guys. Well, and, and still an awful lot of fire showing as we are, what, a couple of hours into this story at Independence and Prospect News. Chopper 9's Johnny Rollins over the scene right now up in Northeast. Johnny, thanks.